Hey guys, welcome back to the page. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the career of Anderson Luis de Souza, also known as Deco. As always, before we start, don't forget to like this video, hitting that subscribe button for more content, and let's get into today's video. Right off the bat, Deco played the midfield position when he was on the pitch since he was highly creative, displayed tremendous vision, and knew how to beat players with his style of dribbling, which will be a huge part of his arsenal for all the teams he will play for in his career. At 15 years old, Deco started to play for smaller local football clubs in Brazil, where he was able to catch the attention of the European football club FC Porto by the time he was 19 years old. After he had spent a couple seasons with Porto, Deco would eventually be given a sensei direction from the great Jose Marino who gave the young star the leading role on a young and hungry Porto squad. In the five seasons he was spent playing with Porto, Deco played a key role on how effective this Porto squad would be. During those five seasons, Deco would make 190 appearances, scored a total of 44 goals and made 80 assists across all competitions under a young Jose Marino who had a talented squad that was looking to dominate European football, which is why Deco was able to achieve a treble with Porto in the since their 1994 season. Also during Deco's Porto years, he would lead the team in assists, he was named club football of the year and best midfielder before he would move on from the club. On July 6, 2004, it became official that Deco would come to Barcelona on a four-year deal after spending a COVID on all sides and Deco was mainly considered as an attacking midfielder. But this would not stop coach Frank Rijkaard from using him in a three-man midfield formation. For those who might not know the three-man midfield formation, it's basically a formation that will provide passing triangles and defensive durability no matter the opposition. If coach right, the midfield would essentially be the most effective department on the pitch. Well guys, this formation that coach Rijkaard set up worked to perfection because of Deco's passing abilities, technical knowledge combined with his good stamina would help Barcelona win the Champions League, the Spanish Cup, and the Super Copa de Span back to back. Not to mention Deco would once again be named best midfielder. After Deco had spent a couple years with a talented Barcelona squad, he would take his talents to the English Premier League to play for the club Chelsea on a 3 year 10 million euro contract. After his first month playing with the club, Deco was awarded Premier League player of the month since he would score a 30 yarder on his debut and scored a curling free kick in his second match with the club. A few months later, Deco would unfortunately suffer a thigh injury in his Champions League debut but when he made his return the following season it came with a surprise. Because he would lose his role on the starting 11 after management saw how low his work ethic was in the last remaining games of the previous season. Starting from losing his spot on the team, Deck would go on to have on and off performances with the club for the next two years and he even made comments how he didn't like his experience with Chelsea. The comments he made would eventually spark rumors about him moving to the Serie A club Inter Milan to link up with former Porto manager Jose Marino. But Inter club president would quickly shut down these rumors stating that Deco was a little bit too old for the club so there was no need for the club to purchase him. Even though the time he spent with Chelsea had its frustrating moments, the club would still win the English FA Cup and the Premier League during Deco's two years with the club. Eventually Deco would lead to play for a Brazilian club where he would still have on and off performances but was still able to capture two titles with the club. When Deco would make his return to Brazil, it was like him coming home because that was his birth country but at the time when his Blazing career had started, the Brazilian national team was stacked with midfield talent like Ronaldo, Rivaldo, and Ronaldinho, so the team essentially had no use for him. But guys, Deco would have another chance to play on the international stage since he had played 6 years with Porto. He was able to gain a Portuguese citizenship and was called out to play for the Portuguese national team and ironically made his debut for Portugal against his own home country of Brazil in a game that resulted in a win for Portugal after Deco sealed the game with a win free kick. And here's a quick fun fact about this game, this will be Portugal's first time winning over Brazil since 1966, which shows how Brazil missed out on an incredible talent like Deco. And if you guys want to see the free kick that sealed the game, here's a clip of it. Anyways guys, in the end of Deco's superb 17 year career, football fans around the world had enjoyed the skills he displayed on the pitch which led him to win so many individual awards. Here's a few I would like to mention. Deco would win Portuguese Football of the Year, the Golden Foot Award and left us football fans with special moments we will never forget. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hitting that subscribe button for more content and have a great rest of your day.